Hello, how you going everybody? Hope you're all staying safe. Today in this episode, I thought I'll do a fishing rod review on probably the most expensive fishing combo I have ever bought. Probably the first and the last as well. So yeah, stay tuned. Let's have a look at it. Bam! Daiwa Soul Tiga, the 16 series. Yeah, that's right, very pricey. Tried to sell my wife and kids for it, <laughs> but I luckily, <laughs> luckily I won the uh, the pokies and won a couple of grand there. So the kids got real lucky, <laughs> and the wife too, I should say. But yeah, hopefully, the <laughs> hopefully I didn't hear that. <laughs> Talk about the reel first. First impression, out of the box when you grab it, it feels like a tank. It is built like a tank. It feels like you just Complete steel all over it, but it's aluminum. I believe it is. Has very basic functions only compared to most others. I think the reason they did that on purpose to make it uh, uh, less uh, uh, moving parts, less problems. Well, that's what I think anyway. Uh, line release there, straight up and down, very basic. The star drag and the spool tensioner. This model comes with the uh, EVA foam knob. I chose this one for saving 50 grams. You can have a, a metal knob, a really nice looking metal knob actually. Since it's only a small diameter spool, it doesn't have that um, line management thingy. I don't know what it was called. You just wind it straight onto the reel and the lines just stay in there. Never had any problems with it. And that's pretty much all the, all the features really on it, besides all the internal technical stuff, which will be on the website. Uh, there's quite a bit there. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. There's this one problem I don't like. This thing here. Okay. At first impression, you'd think that, oh, that's, that's probably for um, the line ratchet, you know, like most other, other reels where you wind and uh or like a drag when the fish takes it uh it has the uh, ratchet noise fortunately it's not it's built there for um snag purposes so that when you engage it you turn it on it locks up the reel and then you can pull the snag out from using the reel as an anchor just rip it right out so when i first got it i thought that oh yeah that's a drag but it's not, it's it's a spool lock. The spinning, spinners, you don't want to uh, bust the bail arm, so you have to hold the line where you're gonna snag or something, you pull it, you just put it on and then it fully locks the reel and you can use it to pull snags. And it's supposed to be safe because that's how strong the spool is. Okay. And the silly thing is, it's got a drag ratchet when you're winding it. I don't know why they made it like that because we want to hear the drag ratchet when we've got big fish on it. And the fish is taking line. You want to hear it like on the spinners and some, some other uh, overhead reels. But this one's, uh, I don't know what they were doing. I don't know what they were thinking, you know. You can wind it and it has a ratchet. But then when you turn it off, you pull the line, there's no ratchet. You turn it on, it fully locks up. But then when you wind the fish, it has a ratchet. So you can't use it as a drag because it's completely locked up. I don't know if Dave, if you guys were, if you guys are watching this, if you ever do watch this, what are you thinking, man? What are you guys smoking, man? Look at this one. This is my cheap eBay one. You know, thirty dollar reel from eBay. I just bought it just to, you know, thrash the hell out of it. Thirty dollars special. And look, even this one has it. You engage it. See that? What is going on? It's not hard to make it. So this cheap eBay one definitely has a tick in that department compared to the super expensive Saltiga that you spend so much money on. And you can't even afford to put a ratchet on. You put a ratchet on, the reel is completely locked up. Why couldn't you just reverse it? What were you guys smoking? Better calm down, I'm getting a bit too excited. 
Besides that, the real is fantastic. That is the only down thing for this reel because sometimes I want to use it for trolling, you know, drag a lure at the back and use this outfit to the pulling fish, and I can't. I can I could, you know, but then if I'm watch, looking ahead while I'm trolling and the fish smashes the lure, I can't hear the line being taken. I want to hear the line being taken. But look, when it was completely locked up, you got the ratchet when it's locked up, but we don't want to be hearing the ratchet when we've got a snag. We want to hear the ratchet when we're pulling fish, when the fish is pulling away line, you know? And that's the thrill. Ugh, okay, I'm getting carried away again. The rod, it's, uh, I believe it's the 16 series Salt Tiger. If you, um, uh, seen all the previous Salt Tigers before these ones, the rod blank is much thicker and when you look at them completely the design is absolutely different okay they're not even the same the weight different size difference they even got different uh, guides these guides that they will use here and i believe they are the fuji fuji titanium guides i believe it is works really well with braid or mono never digs into the into the um guides uh it has all daiwa's uh latest technology blanks I think it's the 3dx the x45 wrapping i believe it is and the hvf nano plus core blanks very very strong super strong now a lot of jigging rods these days some of them come with a split butt in here which doesn't have the um the ev foam underarm yeah and um, if you ever are chasing a jigging rod, don't buy the ones with those unless you like them because all you, it's a split butt so you have the, the, um, the blank stand there and when you put it under your arm like this, when you pull in big fish, you got your blank there under your arm and since it's so small, it can really hurt your underarms after pulling a few really big fish. So it's good that they will put the thick EVA foam all the way through the butt in. Uh, Shimano also does the um, game type Jays and Oshia similar as well because they know that you know, when you hold big fish this EVA foam butt in works very well on your arm and it doesn't hurt. Some other jigging rods they don't have it and you just have that and I've had a few of them and they, they're horrible when you got big fish okay they really hurt on their arm. Unless you like it, by all means, get it. But uh, for me, that's not for me. I like this. Bends very nicely, has a really nice soft tip, but very strong backbone, okay? And match with the reel, 35 size reel. And works perfectly. Sell your wife and kids to get one of these. <laughs> no, I was only joking about it. Don't sell your wife and kids, all right? If you're really crazy into something high-end and you really want to buy something super expensive and super good, have a look at these Daiwa Saltigas. Shimano has got their version as well. Theirs is the Oshia. But uh, I think when it comes to this sort of gear, Daiwa, man, I reckon Daiwa is a little bit better. But their gears are a bit more solid, a bit more heavier than Shimano's. But you can't go wrong with them both. Both of them are really, really good. Okay. Okay, we're just over uh, Daiwa's fishing website in Australia. Let's see, uh, daiwafishing.com. The reels are six fifty, pretty much the price, and it comes with all their bells and whistles, all their technologies. I'm not going to go through them all, but you guys can come here and um, have a look. You click on the, their technologies, and it just tells you what it is. Yeah. Okay, let's go down to the specs. All the models, they can range between 10, the range down is a pretty small one, 15 and 35. My one is, I believe it's this one right here, Saltillo 35NH. Uh, that's one of the larger ones. And uh, N is just the handle knob, the EVA handle knob, and H will be for the high gear. The 6.4 gear ratio. Uh, the ball bearings, the 10 kilo drag. I reckon, uh, from my experience, pulling up uh, reds at about 10 kilos there. 
uh, 10 kilos is sufficient. Sometimes you really need to stop and just thumb the spool a little bit, and that always helps. Uh, but 10 kilos seems to be pretty sufficient. I only use PE4. Uh, yeah, only use um, PE4, so it's pretty good. Um, 550 grams and the price uh, okay the the one with the metal handle is this one here the 35 nsj that's 600 grams uh that metal knob gives it that extra 50 grams okay moving on to uh an awesome reel moving on to the rods these are the uh 16 series they were 16 series very thin and strong compared to the other salt eagers. If you ever seen the other salt eagers, it's not even close. They're completely different design. Uh, all their rod designs here, all their sizes. You've got the just the normal spins, uh, the spin jigs, and the overhead. My one is this one right here, J511 MHB, medium heavy, PE three to four. Yeah. Uh, suits me perfectly for what I'm using. You know, has a bit of give, soft tip, but strong backbone. Uh, I'm able to pull in 10 kilo fish, so that's more than sufficient for me. Um, lovely rod. Uh, it's got all day was technology. Crisp and lightweight in the hand, yet powerful and responsive in the heat of the battle. HVS. Nano Plus delivers cutting edge design and performance. It's very nice. You got Shimano's Oshia Jigger. It's the same uh, competition comparison, but I haven't tried that one yet, so uh, I don't know how it goes. But uh, to what I've heard, the um, the Saltiga has better technology blanks in in their uh, rod design than the Shimano's um, Oshias. And uh, yeah, if you're into the market with something expensive, you know, something strong and lightweight, and you know, the budget is out of your is not a not a thing, then give these uh, uh, salt eagers a try. You won't be disappointed, as I've had this reel and rod combo for uh, a bit now, and man, it never disappoints. Fantastic rod and reel combo. Well, there it is, guys. So if you are around there chasing something in the finesse style but still strong, give these Daiwa Saltigas a have a look at. Cost an arm and a leg. The wife and kids almost got sold for it. <laughs> got lucky. But, uh, yeah, until then, guys, that'll be the end of this video. And don't forget to stay safe out there. See you in the next video. See you later.